This is a rookery on the Alabama coast between Dolphin Island and Bayou La Battery. Just a little island and you'll find herons, egrets, ibises, gulls, oyster catchers, all gathered together on this little spit of land uh, to nest. And the birds just crowd right on top of each other. All these different species just mixed up, raising their young right next to each other. It's really quite remarkable, and that's why these birds are called colonial nesters. Here you see uh, some snowy egrets on the left, cattle egrets on the right. This is a tricolored heron or Louisiana heron. That's his kind of gawky baby there, bright red. Oh, we got a duck. This is a reddish egret. And when he bends over here, you'll see him shake out his plume feathers, and that's what these birds were hunted for. Um, you know, and they get especially showy, their breeding plumage, in, in the mating season. And watch this bird as he bends over here. Look at the incredible feathers there he has on his tail. Um, and that's, that's what they were shot for. So if you can imagine, um, just, you know, thousands of these birds gathered together in these colonies like this just made easy pickings for the hunters to come through. Birds wouldn't leave their nests. They'd fly away. They'd come right back. So it's really quite a miracle that we, we have any of these colonial birds left here on the Gulf Coast. Thank <laughs> you.